All right, we are in our final week of our annual season of hope. It is the largest food and toy drive on the Central Coast. KSBY anchor Richard Gearhart is live at the Lompo Fire Station on G Street tonight to explain how you can help. Hi, Richard. Well, hi, Karina. Yeah, we are here on Fire Station 1 in Lompoc on G Street, as you said, and we're here with the Battalion Chief Chuck Ruda. And look at all these toys down here. These have been collected over the past few weeks, almost ready to be distributed the next week. Uh, obviously, you've been seeing people coming in. You talked a little bit earlier about a veteran who has come in several times to drop off toys. Yeah, you know, first of all, Lompoc community is awesome. You know, they bring in all these toys for, for you know, the needy. And, uh, yeah, we have this one guy. He's probably come in four times. Um, Comes in, doesn't really want to talk much, but he just likes to give and he hands you the bag and thanks us for what we're doing and he's on his way. You know, I think so many stories like that throughout this entire Season of Hope drive where people, they don't really want a lot of credit, they just want to drop off toys. And look at this, we've got, I think I counted eight, nine, maybe ten bikes here uh, that are dropped off. And, you know, the, the idea is to give them maybe a $15, $20 toy, but these are much, these are some pretty big donations you have. Love all the fire trucks out there too. Yeah, yeah, it kind of works out just right for us, but... But yeah, the bicycles are incredible. You know, I walked into work, came into work one morning and saw them and I couldn't believe it. Um, but yeah, just a great community. And we also are uh, joined by Soledad Kennedy, who's the coordinator for Toys for Tots in the area. This is just one area. Tell us about the toys that you've been kind of out scouting uh, to see what you've gotten so far. Oh, we were very fortunate. We had several events and we collected toys. We had an air uh, port event. We're collecting toys from them. And we had a motorcycle just yesterday uh, collecting toys from them, over 200 toys. And we have uh, the Elks who also uh, collected toys for us. They're all out there. It's just a matter of getting out to donate. But uh, this week we're going to be collecting all the boxes. But if they still want to donate toys, we're going to be at the Veterans Building in Lompoc. So... If through they still through the end of this week, yeah, right? Of and of course, Season of Hope wraps up on Friday, December 14th. In Lompoc, those distribution, uh, the toy distribution is going to happen already on Saturday. So we need you to come down here if you want to stop by and uh, drop off a toy. We'd love to see you and visit with you. We've got, I, I think we've got several firefighters here. We're going to try to do a little bike riding, try some of these new bikes out. But we need a little practice time first. So until then, we're going to send it back to you, but we'll be back at 6 o'clock and, and see how that goes. All right, right Richard. Good luck. That's so awesome. I've never seen so many bikes at one drop-off location. Great job, Lompoc. And tomorrow, I'll be live at Patterson and Tedford Pediatrics in Atascadero from 5 to 7. So come on down, bring your donation, and say hi. I'd love to see you.